Well, we begin in the nation's capital, where details behind Pamela Wald's accounting books will soon be released to the public. The embattled senator is fighting allegations of wrongdoing over what she described as legitimate Senate business expenses. The results from an independent uh, probe will could lead to police involvement. Wallen has jumped to the offensive, slamming the process before any information has been made public. It is my view that this report is the result of a fundamentally flawed and unfair process. When appointed to the Senate in 2009, I was determined to be an activist senator, one who saw it as her job to advance causes that are important to Canadians. When invited to appear publicly and speak on subjects including the role of women in public life, our mission in Afghanistan, support for our troops, I saw it as my duty to accept whenever I was able to do so. Travel to these public speeches and appearances was and is, in my continuing view, a legitimate Senate expense. Jessica Hume is watching this story, joins us live in Ottawa. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning, Pat. Uh, you know, this is definitely not going to be Pamela Wallen's best uh, favorite day, I would, uh, I would say. This, uh, as you mentioned yesterday, uh, yesterday was the day we were expecting to get, uh, or, or the, one of the Senate committees received this Deloitte audit. Now, this is a highly anticipated audit. Uh, you know, throughout the spring, we've been hearing that the, the results from this audit could be even more explosive than those from, uh, you know, the Mike Duffy uh, expense scandal. So, um, these details are going to be uh, made public later today. This again, uh, we knew this last week, we've been waiting uh, with bated breath. What we're expecting here to see is uh, details over travel expenses primarily. So of course, these are all to do with uh, Senator Pamela Wallen. Uh, she's a conservative appointed uh, senator who now sits as an independent. And it looks like she could uh, owe taxpayers as much as $140,000 despite having already paid back uh, about $38,000. So um, all of this really could potentially or is already adding fuel to the fire on what's been uh, a very explosive spring for the Senate. Now, um, Wallen, uh, for her part, has really maintained uh, throughout this entire process that uh, you know any wrongdoing was unintentional. She's been lying very low uh, throughout the whole process. But uh, let's take a listen to uh, a clip of uh, Pamela Wallen putting some of uh, her expenses in a little bit of her own context here. Let's take a listen. In the Deloitte report, a number of expenses going back to 2009 that were submitted and approved by Senate Finance over a four-year period have now been disallowed. Deloitte has wrongly, in my view and in the opinion of my lawyers, applied the 2012 changes made to the Senator's travel policy retroactively. The result is that travel expenses, which were approved and paid by Senate Finance in 2009, in 2010, in 2011, have, in a number of cases, now been disallowed. So the senator clearly sees herself as a little bit of a victim here, victim of uh, you know various uh, rules and regulations being applied retroactively. But uh, another senator, Senator Gerald Como, who also sits on uh, these uh, uh, Senate committees, uh, looking at her review, he disagrees quite strongly, calling uh, the retroactive application of these rules very fair. So uh, you know not everybody on board with uh, Ms. Wallen's perspective. But I think to be fair here, we need to differentiate between uh, the audit surrounding Wallen and those of other senators, Mike Duffy, Patrick Brazo, Matt Carb, and the like. So uh, I believe if we have a graphic, we could throw it up. Uh, what some of the things that the Senate committee are tasked with looking into is uh, whether she has to pay more, uh, repay rather more in these dubious expenses. Uh, did she break any rules? And of course, uh, the corollary of that is, did she break them knowingly? Um, will the Deloitte audit be passed on to the RCMP for further investigation? This again, uh, something that the, the Senate committee has to determine. Um, and again, Again, uh, just again to differentiate some of Wallen's issues with those of the other senators uh, involved in these Senate scandals, um, she's actually p repaid some money. Let's uh, throw another graphic on the board, just looking, uh, putting into comparison a little bit. So uh, Pamela Wallen, $38,000 repaid, but as I mentioned, she could owe as much as $140,000, so this is uh, not a done deal there. Mike Duffy, well, he pay repaid the $90,000, uh, but he did so with a little help from his friends in high places. Now, uh, Patrick Braz 
Oiseau. He's repaid $48,000, and I believe in all this was uh, the one senator, the most forthcoming in, in kind of uh, supplying documents and repaying that money. And then, of course, last but not least, we have Senator Mac Harb. Uh, his story, again, far from over, though he has repaid to date $51,000. Now, I mentioned earlier that one of the things the Senate committee is tasked with determining is whether this audit, uh, this report to do with Wallen's expenses, should be passed on to the RCMP. Huge question here. I've been unable to confirm it myself, but media reports um, earlier today have said that it looks very likely that this is going to be passed on to the RCMP, which again uh, could have implications uh, much broader in terms of uh, you know how the Senate is governed. Um, now, the Senate Internal Committee on Budget uh, and Administration, they're meeting at 9 o'clock this morning, and they're going to be receiving a report that a subcommittee of the Senate compiled yesterday. And without being too complicated, uh, a smaller Senate uh, committee looked at this huge report and very uh, pretty much uh, summed it up. And that's what uh, the, the committee this morning is going to be looking at. So uh, there will be press conferences held today. We're not expecting the majority of information details to be coming out until later this afternoon. Uh, but I think it's safe to say that all eyes are going to be on the Senate, um, you know, in the meantime. And uh, in terms of any more uh, questions to do with the Senate, uh, one main one, of course, is uh, reports are now saying that it looks like she retroactively tried to uh, change some of these claims after Deloitte became involved. So uh, this question, of course, Pat, is going to be something that the RCMP, if this uh, is passed on to them, that they are definitely going to be looking into. Okay, Jessica, thank you. You're welcome. And as uh, Jessica just pointed out, Wallen is just one of several senators in the spotlight over those questions of misspending. The story, though, is garnering debate, discussion in our social media feeds. Gina Phillips has her eye on the online reaction and will join us uh, later with what you're actually saying about this. It's also the topic of our web poll, too. Uh, embattled Senator Pamela Wallen has called the audit process into her expense claims fundamentally flawed, but has pledged to repay every dollar she owes with interest. Is paying back the money good enough? Yes or no? Go to sunnewsnetwork.ca to cast your vote.